Hi guys! So as you can tell by the title, I got into radiology school. If you don't know what radiology is, radiology is a department in the healthcare industry. It's where you take radiographs slash like x-rays of people's bones, of people's bones, of people's chests, like chest x-rays, all that good stuff. It varies. Like you can do mammograms, you can do CT scans. And I always knew like I wanted to be in the hospital industry, but I just didn't know where to go. Like I didn't want to do nursing. I didn't want to be a doctor. Um, I tried to do dental school for a while. Wasn't for me. So I moved on to radiology and I finally got accepted into my program. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I got accepted, what is required to get accepted and what to expect. I know a lot of you guys like my serving videos and I'm still going to be doing that, but I'm also going to add in my radiology videos because this is my career. It's part of my life. So I'm going to start adding these videos in as well. So let's get started on how I got accepted. Radiology, you don't just straight up go to school for, you have to take prerequisites first and then get accepted into a program, which is normally associated with a college. In my state, you have to go to a college and get a degree for it. But I think in some states, you might be able to get a certificate. I might be wrong. So I did two years of prerequisites. So I did biology, I did math, I did English, then I did anatomy and physiology, the class, and also the lab, and then I did anatomy and physiology too, the class in the lab. I did another math class, medical terminology, of course, and then you have to do a humanities elective that might that might vary in some states, but you also have to do psychology. And I think that wraps it up for the first two years of prerequisites to get accepted into the program. So once you do all of those classes, like I said, it varies from college to college. Maybe some colleges don't require as much, maybe some require less, but that's what I had to do for mine. And once you do all of your electives, your electives, I meant your classes, so once you complete those two years of classes, you have to have a C or higher just to kind of like, it's competitive. Like you're going against a group of people that are trying to get in the same program as you. You know, you don't just automatically get into it. You have to be accepted and you have to meet a certain criteria. So you have to have normally a C or above to get into the program, but also it's not just that. It's really competitive. So they want you to have some type of experience on your hands, you know what I mean? So what I did to kind of stand out, I volunteered at Oshner to kind of get my foot in the door. You could, Normally at Oshner, the volunteering is totally open. They just opened it back up this year. It was closed for a while due to COVID, but this year Oshner opened up to taking volunteers in and normally they let you go in any position, whether it's nursing, whether I think you could even do like ICU, but I wanted to get into radiology. So I applied for that, got accepted like this, got some blood work and I got in and I volunteered for like two months straight. I think you have to have like 30 up hours. So I volunteered, got a note from the hospital. So then I had volunteer work on my hands, plus my prerequisites, plus the right grades. And I got into my program. My grades were pretty good. It wasn't like straight A's. I think I had like one C, but my grades weren't amazing because it's competitive. I think what really got me in was my um, hospital experience because whenever you volunteer at the hospital, you literally do everything a radiograph, radio, blah, 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 what? <laughs> you do everything a radiographer does. You don't, you can't actually like touch the patients or anything, but you basically shadow the radiographer and you do the dang thing, okay? So I had a lot of experience on my hands and yeah. So I got into my program and then after that, they're like, okay, we need to get you for an interview. So there's like an interview process. You go in, there's three radiographers sitting in front of you inter interviewing you like all at once. So like they're coming at you with the questions. So I did the interview and I got in. So yeah. So now let's get into classes. So once you get in, we start in August. So from August all the way to 2025, the summer of 2025, you're gonna have straight semesters of work. So in August, it starts off 
three classes a week, right? Kind of like regular schooling, three classes a week, three days a week, but then in October, you start your clinicals. So clinicals is basically what I was doing as volunteering. You're basically shadowing, doing the work, kind of getting your foot in the door because right after that you graduate and you start the job. So you need like hands-on experience. So in October, you're gonna have the three days of classes, plus you're gonna have, I believe, five days of clinicals, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's five days in a row, but either way, the hours are gonna equal out to like 20 something hours a week of straight clinicals. On top of that, you're gonna have your classes. On top of that, you're gonna have your exams. On top of that, you gotta work to pay your bills. So it's a lot. So I just watched the video back and I keep, I keep saying radiology. Yes, I'm going to school for radiology, but not to be a radiologist. I'm going to be a radiographer slash radiologist technologist. So not a full on radiologist a radiographer. Does that make sense? Like a rad tech. You probably knew that by the title, but I just wanted to state that really quick. Okay. I ain't lying. I just, but yeah, that's really all the advice and requirements I can give, but I do want to say every state is different and that might not require what my state requires. It might require more, but that's pretty, pretty much the gist of it. Um, you do the two years of prereqs, you get an interview, you get accepted. Hospital experience, no matter what state you live in, I feel like would help you just to show that you have the experience. And then you can get a letter from your hospital and put it along with your application to get into um, rad tech school. I just wanted to make that clear. Like I, I just, this is what helped me and I want to help somebody else. So yeah, but like I said, every state's different. Every state's different, okay? But yeah, that's really all I have. You know, that's how you get in, what to expect. I really don't know too much because I haven't physically started yet, but I'm kind of getting my foot in the door and letting you know what I know and helping somebody out. Because right before I wanted to get into rad tech school, like I would look up on YouTube, like days in the life. I would look up like ideas um to get into school advice and there's not too many videos on it so i'm here and also if you don't know what you're doing with your life it's fine i took my time with this okay i have been trying to figure out what i wanted to do for the longest and then i was finally like okay i want to be in the hospital field but i'm gonna take my time with it because this is my career this is going to be for the rest of my life so i'm gonna take my time with it like because right now i enjoy my days off like I'm a server right now, y'all know this. And I don't go in until 4 p.m. So I have the whole day to myself, okay? So I'm taking my time with the career thing. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to always know what you're gonna do. And even if you don't have a plan, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal, okay? But it's okay if you don't always have a plan. But that's the best advice I can give. I'm gonna be doing a lot. I'm still gonna be doing my blah, blah, blah. Oh my God. But I will be doing some more Rad Tech um, videos. I'll be doing some like days in the life, um, what's in my study bag, like videos like that, kind of shifting off into that area, but still doing what I do in my other videos, you know? But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this helps somebody out. And I do not like how dark my lipstick is, but I'm trying to do something different, so. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, comment down below um, and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Bye, love ya!